Right, the final race of day three, a hunter chase on the national hunt anyway. The final race of day three is a Red Rum hunter chase, Flynn's Bullet, Martin Needham and Teal Storm, Graham Clutterbuck. Three miles, six furlongs, a match race between Graham Clutterbuck and Martin Needham. And Flynn's Bullet, Martin Needham is the reluctant leader from the Black Horse. And Teal Storm in second for Graham Clutterbuck as they come towards the first fence at Barbary Castle. It's a long way to go and over it slowly was Teal Storm being pushed along to try improve his position but it's Flynn's bullet for Martin Leadham who is the leader from Teal Storm in second or Graham Clutterbuck as they come to the second. Uh, good jump by both. Flynn's bullet. Martin Leadham's horse clear here in the red rum hunted taste at Barbary Castle and they both jump at I would say okay. Flynn's bullet. Martin Needham last season's Grand National winning trainer um, from Teal's bullet. Well, from Teal Storm in second. That's uh, more Graham Clutterbuck's horse. And they jumped that well. Flynn's bullet. About five lengths clear off Teal Storm in second. They've jumped four. At Barbary Castle, the rain has stopped. It came down in all the other three races, but it stopped for this race. So Flynn's bullet from Teal Storm, uh, about five lanes separating them as they come towards the fifth jump. Flynn's bullet traveling well enough in front in those red colors with the yellow cap, and uh, behind that, the Welsh flag colors of Graham Clutterbuck's Teal Storm as they jump the next. And Teal Storm was over that slowly again. So Teal Storm hasn't been jumping that well. There's probably more his jumping than anything Flynn's Bullet's done that's allowed him to open up a six length advantage. So Flynn's Bullet, another good jump, and a good jump by Teal Storm as well. So five lengths between the two. And Flynn's Bullet, the leader for Martin Leadham. And in the last race, Martin Leadham's horse was about six or seven lengths clear, but had no answer to James Shea's horse when he breezed on by. Let's see if this race pans out differently. It's Flynn's Bullet. Yeah, in the last year at Barbary Castle, it's clear from Teal Storm in second for Graham Clutterbuck. As they come towards the seventh fence, and still traveling comfortably in front is Flynn's Bullet. He jumps the seventh well from Teal Storm in second. Still a long way to go at Barbary Castle. Another 15 fences to take, and some 20 furlongs to go. So Flynn's bullet in this three mile six red rum chase in front from Teal Storm in second, about five minutes back. They both jump it relatively well. And it's the red colours and yellow cap of Flynn's bullet who leads the field from Teal Storm in second. I should say not the field but the other horse because there's only two in them. A match race here at Barbary Castle to finish off the day. Let's see if it's a more exciting finish than the last race. So Flynn's bullet the leader from Teal Storm in second. Biden is time. Graham Clutterbuck's horse in second. The black horse, brown horse in front with the red colours is Martin Needham's Flynn's bullet. They come to the next. Flynn's bullet jumps it well. Teal Storm is slow in the air. There's still about six lengths behind uh, Martin Needham's Flynn bullet as they jump the 11th. The halfway mark has been reached. In this three mile six red rum handicap chase, and it's Flynn Bullet in the hunter chase who has got a reduced advantage now because Teal's Bullet is starting to close up behind, and Teal's Bullet about five lengths behind uh, Flynn's Bullet now. It's Teal Storm so about five lengths now uh, behind Flynn's Bullet for Martin Needham. So Martin Needham looking for a change of luck. He's had a second in one of the hunter chases and in the last race James Shea is what's breezed on by. So Flynn's bullet the leader from Teal Storm back in second. There's five lengths between the two of them. As they come towards the 13th fence and still so traveling in comfortably in front Flynn's bullet. They come to the next. Flynn's bullet jumps it well so does Teal Storm. There's only about three lengths between the two of them now. And Flint's bullet 
Still traveling one in front. Deal storm. Content to buy his time in second. A jumper next. Good jump by the leader. And uh, as as well, Teal Storm. So both of them over as well. 14 fences have been navigated as Flynn's bullet comes past what well, looks like the winning post. Yet Barbary Coastal from Teal Storm back in second. So the last race on week three. Last race on day three or in the national hunt. It's Martin Needham's Flynn's Bullet, who has managed a second in the Dubai World Cup on the flat this season. Behind that is Teal Storm for Graham Clutterback. Seems to have some good two mile chases this season. But now there's only three lengths between the two of them. Flynn's Bullet in front, Teal Storm just behind that. And you have to say, with a mile left to challenge, to, to a mile left to go, that Flynn's bullet, who jumps the next amazing mistake, uh, is not traveling as well as Teal Storm. A mile left to go, and Teal Storm has drawn level and passed Flynn's bullet, and now Graham Clutterbuck's Teal Storm goes to the front. The jockey looking around to see that Flynn's bullet jockey is pushing and shoving to try and maintain his position. They jump the next and another mistake by Flynn's bullet. Two shattering errors from Flynn's bullet and Teal Storm with no real effort has drawn to the front. So Teal Storm has gone to the front. They come to the next and slow in the air there was Teal Storm allows Flynn's bullet to go back to the front and Flynn's bullet after making those two mistakes is in front but being pushed along and a bad mistake by Teal Storm and nods on landing so Flynn's bullet in front but Teal Storm made a mistake at the last they have four left to jump it's Flynn's bullet now trying to extend again for Martin Needham Teal Storm seems to have found nothing back in second quarter but flat footed as, Teal, as Flynn's bullet tries to extend from the front it's Flynn's bullet Briefly joined by Teal Storm has now gone clear. It's Flynn's bullet. Teal Storm trying to stage a ready back in second, but it's Flynn's bullet for Martin Needham. Here comes Teal Storm on the outside for Graham Clutterbuck. It's still Flynn's bullet with three fullers left to travel and three left to jump, or two left to jump. It's Flynn's bullet from, te from te Teal Storm. Flynn's bullet and Teal Storm. They come to the second loss with Flynn's bullet still in front. Teal Storm has every chance on that one's outside. It's Flynn's bullet. Here comes Steel Storm. It's gonna hang it's gonna boil down to the jumping. They come to the next. It's front better jump up Flynn's bullet gets a length in the air from Teal Storm in second it's Flynn bullet forward Martin Needham Teal Storm in second they've got a full and left to craft travel one left to jump and a good jump up Flynn bullet slow in the air Teal Storm that's prepared to his chances and Martin Needham's Flynn's bullet has led almost all the way and is going to win the hunter chase the last year from Barbary Castle Martin Needham wins with Flynn's bullet Teal Storm back in second and Flynn's bullet, despite those mistakes, wins for Martin Needham in the Red Rum Hunt Chase.